Welcome to an amino rapid briefing on the upcycling process. Until very recently, pay TV service providers needing to unify their set-top box middleware to take advantage of IP cloud benefits and offer enhanced services were faced with limited choices. The options ranged from do nothing and run the risk of continually losing customers to competitors with more advanced offerings to upgrade the entire set-top box environment usually an impractical solution. Given the multiple challenge of resolving seemingly conflicting pressures, such as ROI, changes in the competitive landscape, consumer expectations, and the increasing cost of content, how do you upgrade and save money while still delivering the optimal customer experience? Thanks to advances in technology, inspired in part by the rise of virtualization within the enterprise space, a practical and cost-effective alternative has emerged. We call this upcycling. It is enabled by Amino OS, a software layer and cloud-enabled service that turns both legacy and current generation set-top box hardware into a single, unified, agile infrastructure, giving flexible, lower-cost alternatives to the status quo. Amino knows that the core of the conundrum is the set-top box and its ability to decode a signal and display that signal on a TV. Amino OS is deployed as an over-the-network software update with its own hardware abstraction layer to replace the built-in firmware and software stack of the set-top box. Upcycling, enabled by Amino OS, enables an operator to provide advanced functionality with little service disruption and minimal upfront investment and provides the opportunity to upsell existing customers. Let's look at how upcycling works. As you can see here, this network has had new life breathed into it with Amino OS deployed into legacy boxes. It saves millions in CapEx and enables the operator to swiftly and efficiently deploy value-added services such as Catch-Up TV, Cloud DVR, Unified Search, and Analytics. Unlike existing set-top box replacement solutions, upcycling minimizes the time frame of running parallel platforms while delivering a modern and common UI across old and new devices. It maximizes legacy investment and smooths out CapEx investment for new set-top boxes. This migration solution can be delivered in under 12 months. Moving to a single universal operating platform also leads to simplification of current and future upgrade plans with the option to mix and match vendors. This removal of vendor lock-in allows more flexibility to provide tiered offerings, allowing set-top boxes that cater for budget, mid-market, and premium subscriber communities. By analyzing the availability and adoption of next generation functionality, operators are in a better position to monetize services with data on subscriber activity, informing marketing campaigns, and the introduction of new features and offerings. When pursuing upcycling, Amino utilizes a two-phase process. During the first phase, Amino reviews existing technology, identifies the dependencies, and defines a relevant set of Amino OS capabilities that could be supported on the legacy devices the operator wants to migrate. Amino provides a prescriptive report detailing findings, feasibility, and a proposed migration process. It is not until Amino and the customer review and agree that upcycling is feasible that Amino will initiate phase two. Phase two is the preparation and migration of legacy devices to an updated version of Amino OS. Amino collaborates with its operator customers to assemble the relevant internal, operator, and partner resources to ensure a smooth migration process. Upcycling gives legacy devices new life. Amino OS also includes service assurance features that simplify ongoing customer support and service. Operators benefit from extending the life cycle of existing devices, improved device management, and the delivery of a modern user experience to subscribers. This process has been utilized at operators like Cincinnati Bell in the USA, PCCW in Hong Kong, and GTD in Chile to run the same service across set-top boxes from multiple vendors for easier service rollout, reduced management complexity, and a unified user experience. As you can see here, 
Cincinnati Bell deployed Amino OS over the network into legacy set-top boxes and new devices, providing a consistent modern user experience to all subscribers, while also extending the life of legacy devices and reducing their overall capex. Not only was the project completed in less than 12 months, CBT more than doubled their subscriber base. PCCW, Hong Kong's leading telecom provider, had a variety of set-top boxes and software platforms, creating device management challenges and delivering varying subscriber experiences. Upcycling gave them a way to deliver a consistent user experience to all subscribers while improving the performance of legacy set-top boxes. In addition, they are benefiting from faster time to market for new versions of their UI. Creating a path for that future while enabling major cost savings and improving time to market for these advanced TV services is at the heart of Operation Upcycle. So we have seen how the strategy of transforming legacy hardware using virtualization allows operators to upcycle existing set-top box hardware to reduce CapEx by up to 80% and reduce the time frame of rolling out an upgrade to under a year. This is what operators are telling us they need and what Amino is firmly committed to continuing to deliver for them. We work with a wide range of suppliers and partners to execute a seamless and profitable solution. If you have more than 50,000 devices to migrate and would like to find out how upcycling can transform your total cost of ownership within the next 12 months, please get in touch with sales at aminocom.com for a personalized illustration of the benefits. Thank you for attending our rapid briefing on the upcycling process.